lot of my stories come from personal experience, but some of them start just because of a little spark of an idea that comes from something that I, that, I, that I saw walking through a parking lot. Well, one day I was walking through a parking lot. This parking lot happened to, to have the Bellevue Arts and Crafts Fair in it at that, at that moment, and I saw a, a chair, a wooden chair made out of skis. And I said to the artist, Where'd you get the idea to make this chair? And he said, oh, I'm just a dumpster diver. And at that time, I had no idea what that meant. I'm just a dumpster diver. And I thought that that was his own term that he had invented. And I said, oh, that's so clever. <laughs> I, he must have thought, is she, is she crazy or what? I said, oh, that's so clever. Can I use, can I use that term in a book? I would, I would love to use that term. And he said, sure. You know, I mean, it'd be like asking someone, uh, may I have your permission to write about Kleenex? So uh, I wrote about a dumpster diver who, uh, who pulls things out of the trash and uh, and uses some some things as is and builds new creations out of little broken bits or found bits of this and that and the first 10 drafts or so usually I write at least 10 drafts and maybe up to 50 drafts of every story that I write but the first 10 drafts or so were just odes to dumpster diving where I was saying how great this was wow you could walk by a bin and find something and and use it what a terrific thing but then I realized, well, then the mother kicked in because I, I am a mother. And I thought to myself, oh, no, how would I feel if my son, after reading this book, went and climbed into a dumpster, got all dirty, slimy, germy, and got hurt? You know, there's broken glass, there's rusted metal, all kinds of disgusting uh, things. Uh, and, and I thought, well, well, how would I feel? How would I feel if, the, if this book inspired him to do that? Or if it inspired some other kids? What if, what if it inspired 10,000 kids to start climbing into dumpsters and then they all got hurt? So I decided I had to change the story. It could not be simply an ode to dumpster diving that I had to have Steve the dumpster diver, Steve the electrician, the dumpster diver who has the kids in the neighborhood help him out. He had to get hurt. So I had him get hurt, but then that changed the whole story because all of a sudden, him getting hurt, I had to have, I, I caused a problem and I had to solve it. So the, so the story changed. And the way I solved it was that the kids in the book started going door to door. And before people would throw their stuff, their junk, into the dumpster, they would intercept it. So going door to door, they would ask, is there anything that, uh, that you might want to get rid of, that, uh, that you, any useful junk? And, uh, and in the book, they end up making a present for Steve out of some useful junk that they collect door to door.